Chris Staniforth from Sheffield was a healthy guy, but he had one fatal flaw. He was addicted to his Xbox. Now, a bit reclusive, you might think, but hardly life-threatening. Well, it turns out that he would regularly have marathon gaming sessions, lasting up to 12 hours at a time, and that over time he developed deep vein thrombosis and he eventually died. Now, you may have heard of the condition affecting elderly airline passengers, but surely not somebody younger. Well, Fine Gael Senator Fidelma Healy Eames, in light of this development, wants manufacturers to incorporate a maximum usage time into the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Wii or any other games console, perhaps limiting their usage to two hours, at which point they click off and won't reactivate for another number of hours. Now, is that a practical, conscientious suggestion or is it the nanny state at its worst? 0818 300 103 is our phone number. And can you imagine trying to convince your 12-year-old or 18-year-old or 38-year-old, depending on how big a kid they are, uh, to get off the PlayStation after only two hours? Well, Mark Gevings set a world record uh, with his buddies in Athlone when they were playing for 42 hours. Mark, you're very welcome to the programme. Hi, Will. Does this story give you the heebie-jeebies now? Do you wonder, ooh, if I had kept that up any longer, what would have happened? Uh, no, not really. So you don't see it as a potential danger? Uh, no, I don't see a problem with it. It's having the one person, it's not like it happens to loads of people every day or anything. Well, how long would you play in a normal session? Granted, you set the, the world record, that was a little bit different, but typically, how long do you spend in front of an Xbox or a PlayStation? Um, if I start playing online with my mates now, we could be playing for like by six, seven hours at a time, but sometimes more, but usually it's about five hours with that at a time. And would you be sitting in the one place or would you get up and move around from time to time? I'm sitting in the one place, but like you can still get up and get food or go to the toilet whenever you want to. You can just turn it off and you want. There's no one forcing you to play it. Like. So what do you make of this suggestion that the console would automatically switch off after two hours just to prevent you developing any adverse symptoms? Uh, I think it's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Um, the, it, games come, they, uh, Microsoft and all will definitely not do it because they're just going to lose out on money because less people will buy the console if they're going to shut off after two hours. And what are you... Like, if you're watching TV, your TV doesn't shut off after two hours. It's the same thing. You're just sitting there looking at that as well. Well, therein lies the, the flaw in her argument, I suppose. Really, it's the television that should shut off after two hours rather than the console because you could just sit there and watch the box until the time limit is yeah, up. You can watch, like, your t you can watch TV all day and sit there doing nothing and get the same thing as what he got from sitting there playing games all day. It's just... It's not the game's fault that he was playing that much and that happened. Like No, but I suppose the kernel of her argument is that people become addicted to playing games in much of the same way they what? become addicted to cigarettes, for instance, and we have health yeah. warnings on cigarettes. That's human nature, though. People get addicted to things. But, well, I wouldn't have a problem if they put a warning on the game's boxes or whatever. But I think the console is shutting off after two hours or whatever is going way overboard. Mm. Would anybody pay attention to the warning on the box? Um, I don't know. I probably wouldn't, to be honest. Yeah. If anything, if a game came with a warning saying this is highly addictive, the chances are a lot of people would want to buy it and play it anyway. It might make it more popular. You can't say a game is highly addictive because it depends on your taste in games and stuff. Yeah, well, some might be crap, but yeah. you know, there are games that you yeah, just yeah. can't put the controller down on. True. But, but, you know, consoles have been around for, what, 20, 25 years, maybe a little longer since the days of yeah. Pac-Man and whatever. You know, yeah. This is the first case that I've heard of, anyway, of somebody developing deep vein thrombosis. You know, I had a um, Sega Mega Drive when I was younger and we played Sonic <laughs> and Streets of Rage and Street you're not Fighter the only 2, one. And, you know... I'm still here, and you're yeah. still here. Yeah. So is exactly. it the nanny state going amok? Um, yeah, I think so. It's Like, when you buy a console and whatever, you should be allowed to play it as much as you want them, and you want, you paid for it. Like, it, you shouldn't be, it shouldn't be dictated to you that, oh, you can only play for two hours, and then you have to get off mm -hmm. of it, and you paid for the console and the game. 
So it's yours to play with as long as you want, like. Yeah, well, I can imagine, though, some parents would applaud such a move because they can never get their child to go outdoors or to uh, yeah, well, be physical. Maybe it makes sense for children, but, like, when you're in your 20s or whatever playing, I'm sure you're old enough to cough on to yourself and get off of the game if you have to, like. Yeah, well, for one thing, you have to go to work. And, yeah, you know, when, when you're out in the big, bad world. And buy 100 cigarettes and smoke them all one after the other and nobody's going to stop you doing it. All right, on that note, Mark Gethings, thank you very much for taking our call this morning. All right, no worries. Thanks indeed. Mark set a world record along with his friends from Athlone. Uh, 42 hours in front of a PlayStation. Or was it an Xbox? I think it was an Xbox. What difference does it make anyway? But 42 hours. Well, it's potentially dangerous. Potentially. Do you agree? Uh, should there be a limit installed in the manufacturer's uh, in their software that it shuts off after just two hours or three hours or whatever the limit would be. Orla, what do you think? Hi, I think it's a brilliant idea. I do, I think it's dead right. Now, I was just saying to the, the girl there, I have no children myself, but I have a sister who has two small children and my nephew would stay on, on it all day if he could get away with it. And when you say small, what age is he? He's seven. He's seven. So yeah, he um, would be there until from oh, dawn to dusk. <laughs> He would, but you now my sister has kind of a limit on. They only during school times they only can watch a certain amount of TV at the weekends. It's a kind of a treat, and I think it's a it's a brilliant idea. So uh, between TV and Xbox and our DS, I think he has. But uh, between them, he has them like three hours a weekend. And I think that's that's a lot for a seven year old child. You know, um, but you have to see the potential here. Like, like people would say that maybe the government are getting involved in some of that's none of their business. But in the end, what they're doing is right. In the end, it's going to create, I'm sorry for saying this, but lazy children at the end of the day. Mm. Well, it's you only know, an idea, and I think she's only testing the water with it. But dead right, and you know, now you might have parents that might give out and say, you know, my I put my child in front of TV to get the housework done in the mornings or whatever, you know what I mean? For those, it's different, you yeah. know. The well, actually, the biggest objection isn't so much from parents. You, you could argue the parents will always have the discretion and they can say to their kids, you have two hours, you have one hour, you have whatever. Yeah. The greater objection is coming from people in their 20s and 30s and 40s who want to play and they're adults and they feel that as adults they're more than qualified and entitled to decide how long they want to play their Xbox or their PlayStation themselves. That, that's their choice at the end of the day, but at the same time, uh, how do, do they decide what else they need to do for other things in their life? Because if you get, like, no offence to that guy, there, five, six, seven hours is crazy. Um, it just, you know what I mean? It's madness. It's, it's five hours a day. That's most of the working day. Do you know what I mean? And, like, do you take the time out for the things that are important as well? Um, do you know, do, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. That is their choice, I suppose, at the end of the day. But um, I think it's a brilliant idea. I really do. Great. So thumbs up from you and thumbs yeah. down from Mark. OK. <laughs> Orla, thanks for the call. No problem. Thank you. Nice talk Bye. to you. God bless.